I'm Megan. And I'm Neil. We've packed up our home in Glasgow and moved into our cute retro camper van Harmony to travel all over Scotland exploring the best places to stand up paddle along the way. So come join our adventure as we visit the highlands, islands and everywhere in between on our Sup Safari Scotland! After our detour to Glasgow we find ourselves again on the very north coast of Scotland ready to catch the ferry to Orkney. This time we catch Alfred, the catamaran, to St Margaret's Hope, which is the only ferry that has availability at late notice. But it's always good to try something different. As Harmony is too tall to go under the deck, we back onto the ferry. It's always funny hearing the car alarms going off as there is bound to be someone who's forgotten to disarm them for the ride. It sounds like the cars are protesting the trip. Meanwhile, our well-behaved Harmony is enjoying the ride. Okay, she's a bit old for a car alarm. past 11 at night and as you can see it's still quite a lot of light. We are um, about to get on the ferry, the Northlink ferry from Orkney to um, Shetland which is very exciting. It's just after 11 at night um, so it's going to be kind of an overnight but we've got little sleeping pods which should be uh, fun and we're going to arrive uh, in Lurk on Shetland uh, at about 7.30 tomorrow morning ready for our Shetland adventures mm. which we are very excited about. Very excited. <laughs> and once again we reverse onto the ferry. A pretty tricky feat at the best of times. Once again Harmony is the oldest one on the boat. And the weather is stunning. Chilling. We head down the coast to suss out some of the beaches with the Tombolo of St Ninian's Isle at the top of our list. We've finally gotten out to Shetland, beautiful couple of days forecast ahead of us. We're at St Ninian's Isle which is something that has been on my radar for about a year or so since I've been doing a bit of research on uh, opportunities in Shetland. So as you can see there's this really cool big sandbank behind us, it's called a Tombolo, biggest one in the UK and I think maybe even Europe, definitely UK. So essentially it's like this big sandbank that joins this island which you can see over behind us there to the mainland. And yeah, it's really beautiful. Nice little protected bay on one side. The other side's getting a bit of wind at the moment. Um, yeah, there's a couple of people pulled up in their yacht for the night over there. Lovely little spot. Reminds me of the Whit Sundays actually. So yeah, we've uh, popped up the board and uh, get going. <laughs> Thank you. 
We were paddling away and noticed these wee birds doing a bit of fishing. How cool are these little guys? Beautiful out on the water here today. It's pretty windy. Um, keep on losing my paddle. Uh, it, it's pretty windy, uh, which is kind of what we've uh, noticed happens quite a bit here. We've decided to go on the bit of water to the left of the sandbank as you look out towards St. Ninian's Isle. Seems a little bit calmer, a little bit more protected. At the moment, I'm <laughs> being pushed away. You can see nearly over the back there just how quickly you um, just get pushed around when the wind's like this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. Um, this is our furthest north paddle, which is pretty exciting. Hopefully we'll get a chance to do a couple more. Uh, we've got three beautiful sunny days. Yesterday was the first of one. Um, and the wind was really cold yesterday, but today it's actually quite nice. So apparently it's meant to be nice again tomorrow. So here's hoping and uh, yeah, we'll get some more paddles in. We explore the south of mainland where the airport runway crosses the road. <laughs> Look at this guy over here, he's just like chilling out. Shetland ponies in Shetland.
Jarlshof is a site rich in historic buildings from over the last 4,000 years. There are Bronze Age houses, an Iron Age brock and wheelhouses, Norse longhouses, a medieval farmstead and a laird's house dating from the 1500s. this building here is actually the ruin of a brock as you can see it's like a circular building but the front of the wall has been eroded away by the winds and waves over time how cool is that The site's actually quite extensive, it just keeps on going on and on. There's just so many of these little spots to explore. Different little buildings. There's been buildings here for over 4,000 years. Um, and obviously some of them are a lot older than others, but it's just incredible that they're still standing. It's really incredible to think that you're actually walking around where people sort of live their lives 4,000 years ago. It's just, I find that really incredible. These alcoves are huge. inside a wheelhouse so a little bit like the one that we saw back on Grimsley so this is obviously a lot better preserved a lot taller but it's quite a structure like it's it's feels like it's entire the only way to get in is The Sunberg Head Lighthouse is the most southerly point of the Shetland Islands and it turns out a great place to spot puffins. We're at the most southern point of Shetland and Neil tells me that this is one of the best places to see puffins. I really want to see a puffin, I think they look pretty crazy. Uh, but also there's a lighthouse, so I don't know, maybe he's just trying to make me look at the lighthouse. Oh, 
Ayun. Next we check out West Vaux Beach, right next to the airport. A bit noisy, but a nice sheltered place for a sup if you're in the area. The next day we catch the Musa boat to visit Musa Brock. There is a walk around the island you can do which takes just under an hour depending on your speed. Wow, it's amazing when you look at a rock like this one here to think that those 4,000 years old, I can't remember the exact date, that someone just placed that there that long ago and it's been there ever since. So this is the inside of Moose of Rock. It's either 1,900 to 2,300 years old. So it's the most complete rock in Scotland and indeed the world because Scotland's the only place that we have rocks. And it's really cool. It's a double skinned, double walled structure and it's self supporting. So the inside here has lots of little holes and things in them which could have been used for storage for Putting animals um, but also it's really cool that there's um, over here you can see there's a door so historic Scotland's blocked that for the moment because of the uh, Mexican beer bug and through there ordinarily you're able to go up and walk around between the walls and get up to the top of the structure so there would have been most probably floors of some sort in here might have been maybe three maybe even four stories Just in case we haven't seen enough brocks yet, we also visit Clickerman Brock in Lowick.
we tour of the rest of mainland and we come across Scalloway Castle, one of only two castles on Shetland. Some more colourful Scandinavian style houses and more idyllic beaches. Shetland certainly has some spectacular scenery. Thanks for watching. If you'd love to keep the videos coming, you can support us by liking, subscribing, clicking notifications, and sharing with your paddleboarding mates. See you next week.